Interaction Filter. Happy Birthday. In this lesson, we will learn about Layer Arrangement, Filter Interaction, Particle Systems, Animation with Sprite Sheet Texture, Audio Converse and how to add sound effects. Ok, let's start. If you feel this video is useful, please click the subscribe button below, choose to receive notifications or share it with your friends to watch. Ok, let's start. When starting a project, you should draw or design your concept like that. It will help you easily visualize what your project will look like and what you need to prepare. Based on the concept design, you can know the proportions of each element to create the assets with the right size. For example, the elements occupy the majority of the area in the filter, I will export them with a size of 1024x1024 pixels, the smaller elements, I use 512x512 pixels. So, you will minimize the size of your project. In this article, I also attached the working file in the description, you can download and use them for practice. First, export all the prepared images to a PNG file. All assets you use will be here. First step like the other lessons, you need to compress their sizes again to make sure the file size is the smallest. As usual, go to to the Spark AR resource I provide. Select tinypng.com to compress the file. tinypng.com limited to 20 files at once, so I will need to do it two times. Download the compressed images of the first part, then refresh the page and upload the remaining images. We have two zip files. Extract them, then merge them into a folder. And name it compression. I will also copy it into the assets folder for you. From now on, we will only use compressed images in this folder. Built with Spark AR Studio. First, we will add the texture. Open the compression folder. I'll select all image that is not a series of images, to import into Spark AR as a texture. Again, don't forget to turn on no compression for them. Now, I will create the animation sequence list. Let's create them all, and don't worry about that, we can add texture to them later. We will have a total of 4 animation sequences, fire, hat, and 2 for particle system. Now let's add texture to each animation sequence. For fire and hat, we'll choose a list of images like that. For emitter 1 and 2, we will get acquainted with the sprite sheet. You just need to select the corresponding image. Sprite sheets work with elements arranged in rows and columns in the same image file. We will learn how to use them in the particle system section at the end of the video. All the animation sequence texture will appear here. Let's choose it and turn on no compression. Ok, nice. Once done, you can review the size of your project after adding the texture here. Perfect. Don't forget save your project. I will call this project as happy birthday. Cool. Creating the material. Click add asset. Select material to create new material. We will create a list of materials corresponding to the texture below. For this type of filter, I usually use a flat shader for the material. Then choose the corresponding texture. Repeat this step until all the materials have their texture.
you can also duplicate materials, just change the material name and texture. The flat shader is always the same. It will save you more time. Perfect. Creating the scene. Now, we will start creating the scene. I usually start with a beautiful face hoho. -ho. Let's add new face tracker, add the face mesh inside. Create new material for it. and change the shader type to retouching. Cool. Next, add a blush to your face. I will use an plain object and place it inside the face tracker so that it can move follow the head. Click add materials. Then, select the cute face material you have created before. Change the scale and position to fit your face. Rename the this object to cute face. Create another plain object to make the birthday hat. Select hat material. Because the hat material has an animation sequence, so when you apply it to the plain object, it changes constantly like that. Select the hat animation sequence, then change the FPS to 1 to slow it down. Or uncheck the loop. Cool. Now I will set the size and position of the hat. I will change the view mode to back. You can easily view and set up. Let's make it fit my head. You can customize your way. Oh. You can see your hat is cut apart. The reason is that the cute face plane object hides part of the hat. When this happens, go to the cute face material, then select advanced render options, uncheck right to depth. Resolve. Perfect. In the next step, we will create a frame with balloons and cake. This time, create a new plane object, but outside the face tracker because I don't want this frame to follow my head. Add top materials to it and resize it by editing the value of the scale. Then, change the position so that it fits into the top of the device screen. Oh. We meet this case again. Let's do the same before. Select the hat material. And uncheck right to depth. Perfect. Now we will add the balloon. Create new one plane object. Name it blue balloon. Add material for it. Nice. We will change the Y position like this. Duplicate blue balloon to make the orange balloon. Change the position of X and Y as 6. Then scale a little bit by change scale value. 
change the material to orange balloon. Again, duplicate orange balloon object to create yellow balloon. Change position. Then change the material. Perfect. Add cakes and candles. Now, add a new plain object to make the cake. Select the cake material. Change the scale value to make it bigger. Then change the position. Pretty. We will add fire animation by adding another plane object. Select the fire material. Make it smaller than other people. I see the cute face it not fit with face of somebody. Let's change it a little bit. Nice. Next step, test display with different devices. iPhone SE, cool. iPhone X, perfect. iPad. Up, ah, the size of width is not enough. We will edit it a little bit. Find top object. Change the scale. Cool. Now let's check again with iPhone 8. Perfect. All visual have shown correctly. Congratulations. If you feel this video is useful, please click the subscribe button below. Choose to receive notifications or share it with your friends to watch.